Hi. Welcome to Thursday. <laughs> yes, welcome to Thursday. Oh, 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 it's gonna be a good one. And oh. welcome to the part two, 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 two. Oh, 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 this is gonna be a fun one. Of our big old two person bin saw from last week. So if you were not here with us last week, on Tuesday of last week, we took you guys to the bins with us yes. and we did some bin shopping. We did a thrift with us. We showed you some of the stuff that you're about to see and some of the stuff that you saw last Thursday. So last Thursday was part one of this haul and we showed you guys the shoes. We showed you the bags and then we showed you some of the clothing we kind of like started it off but today we have all of the rest of the clothing that we found and we have some really good clothes to show you guys so ryan has a ton i hit it out of the park when i said i want things for spring summer that's all that i got and now here we are i shockingly got a ton of of super good men's pieces. I feel like that's kind of been your vibe recently. It has been. Picking up a couple of good little men's things every now and again. So if you guys recall, we did do a video of like our 2024, like business goals and business resolutions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And one of Ryan's was that he wants to do more men's and he wanted to like embrace men's items and whatever. And somehow the universe heard like that coming from this room, but they thought that I said it. Because like that ever since so you said that, I I feel like I've been finding so much good men's stuff. And good. that was not my goal. I have no problem with it. No. But that was not my goal. And that, that definitely so that definitely happened here. Also, looking at the color palette of like what I'm about to show you and what Jack is about to show you, I think is very telling yeah. as to like who we are as of people. our two aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, so I have a lot of good men, so I guess keep your bolo notebook out, keep your, your ears perked. Yeah, perked. For some of the men's bolos, of course, I'll be using the bolo notebook as well. But yeah, I have some really good finds, including something that retailed for over $500. So I'll let Ryan start off. I don't though. know about anything that expensive, no. but we got some, we got some gems. Yeah. We got some gems. So right out of the gate, look at this little gem. Right out of the gate, we're going to take your look vision. At, I love this. I think this is so fun. This obviously wouldn't fit me. I'm a little too big. <laughs> But I love that it has the little Powerpuff Girl heart in the moment, in the moment, in the chest. It does have um this. So I, went, and this says no damage, otherwise exchange will be fine. Oh, it's like a you can't return if you cut yeah. this off thing. So it's new. It is new. And it's this PVC amazing, like, bodysuit. I can't get over how Probably cool Probably just is. like a fast fashion thing, I would assume. Yes. The brand is, oh, cosplay.fm. Oh, so it could just be like a costume. Can you imagine if this is like some really expensive cosplay Maybe this is like part, of, is this part of a character and like, we don't know. Because if it's cosplay, yes, it definitely absolutely. could be like a superhero that we just don't, don't know. know. So if you are familiar, who wears a pink Latex nice. bodysuit with a heart in the middle. Da, 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 da. I have no idea. This is also probably going to be a Depop moment. I love these little dresses, though. These always do so good for me. These little, I call them shimmy shake dresses because you, you shimmy shake it, you know? You got a little, you got to do a little shimmy shake. I love the vintage beading on these. I love how it's, like, purposeful. So there's like beading that goes under the bust and then there's beading that like kind of tapers in a little bit. I love these. It's really pretty under the lights. I know. See, that's where the shimmy shake dresses because they like... Whew. They shimmy and they shake. Yes, they do. It's like shake and bake, but it's shimmy and but shake. But it's shimmy and shake. This one is by the brand Arden B. Don't know. Don't really care. Size extra small. Have not met Arden. Don't really want to. I don't know to. what Arden be doing. <laughs> and that's her problem. Um, I did find two of these. I have no idea where the other one is, but I will show it to you. I don't, I don't know. I, want, I might want to keep the other one. Maybe. And you'll see why in just a little bit. This is the Hawaiian original. Hilo Hattie. This is a newer one. I also am very thankful that the older one that I found has an older tag. So I can do a little comparison. This one is absolutely stunning. I love 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 the colors they are able to get in these. I love the little guitar. Guitar. Ukulele. Excuse myself. And the back with the little boat on the island. Oh, perfect. He's turning into his father. You know what? I do love a good Hawaiian shirt. I bought a lot of them last year, and I'm very excited to pull them back out of the closet again this year. They are so comfortable. They are so comfortable. It kind of gives like a Prada oversized, just like 
printed shirt aesthetic so what in the whole wide world do i got going on here okay so this is another little i think of a trade secret piece red again should i have this type of valentine's day little slip i love that it has the teeny little lace trim detail on the bottom and i love when they have this like bust detail where there's this like lace detail and the little sheer moment this one is a Victoria's Secret. It is not silk, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of the time when I find these, I will only pick them up if they're silk or if they're like newer. Polyester, that's okay. Silk Victoria's Secret is pretty hard to find though. I, think, I don't think they make it too much I anymore. Think I've and only, if they like, do, it's really expensive. I've only once or twice seen it, I think. I find a lot of the gold label Silk Victoria's Secret stuff, but I like these and I am doing a terrible job of holding this up, but I also like how low it goes in the back. That is another one that I look for is when it has that like really plungy back. Those do pretty good too. That one is a size small. Nike Golf. I was like, am I really gonna pick this up? This is insane. Size. Medium. I'm just out of control. I'm just crazy. But look at how cute this on. is. It's a little is Nike cute. golf red tennis skirt, and it has the pleats on it, but it's not tennis skirt material. It feels like a regular nice little pair of shorts. It's a very interesting material. I know. It's so cute. And it has the little like matching shorts underneath it. I love this. Oh, I think like, this is so cute. It's literally like it's a, like a pair, of shorts. pair of shorts. Yeah. That have the tennis skirt detail on it. Weird. I know, and I was like, this is adorable. I think this is so cute. I love this like red and white little patterny detail. I think that's gonna yeah. do good. So we're gonna start off mine with a banger right away. Oh, so we got another blazer. If you remember, we ended off with a really good blazer in part one, but I'm not gonna tell you what that was because you need to go watch it, so. <laughs> go back. So this is like a textured silk blazer. It's also double-breasted, which I freaking love a double-breasted blazer. This is a men's item. And right away I saw the little embossing or print to the inside and it's a CD. And I'm sure many of you know what that means. So this is a 100% silk Christian Dior blazer. Oh, so this is from the Monsur line, but as long as you find like a good Monsur piece, it can still do good. Monsur was like the men's line that they kind of would like let some department stores sell, I believe and stuff. So it's not all super valuable. Not a ton. I Googled it cause I was like, why in the whole wide world do they do in this? Back in the day when department stores would have like men's suit shops, Mm. that's where these would come from. So you would go pick out your little suit and it would be like, they would have them by brands. Yeah. Yeah, so this is really, really nice. So if you remember the tie that I had in part one, that oh, would go yeah. so well Oh, it I would. Just realized, yeah, so this is stunning. And this is mm -hmm. one I would almost be like tempted to keep myself, but I have nowhere to wear this to. So this is old, made in the USA, and the size on this, I don't think is in here. It is listed, really or it's though. going to be listed by the time you see this, so it'll say the size. This is probably like a closer to like a men's kind of large. Then we have another men's piece, and this is a hoodie by none other than Patagonia. Patagonia. So there's the Patagonia label right there. This is definitely like the Patagonia that I more like to sell versus mm -hmm. like t-shirts and shorts and stuff like that. Yep. This is the Better Sweater Full Zip Hoodie, I believe is what this one's called. It is men's, like I said, and it's a size small men's. Just like some light, like it's been used, whereas in like it's been washed a couple times. These so always, it's... these are like bread and butter though. They're yeah. not as good as they used to be, but like easy 30, 40 bucks. Yeah, but still like a super good thing to find at the bins. Then we have another men's piece, and this is a Bolo brand. Not always to sell yourself, but this is an extremely high-end brand. So it is called Canali, made in Italy, as you can see. I used to always send Canali to the real real because they actually do mark this brand pretty well. And a mm -hmm. lot of like older money really yeah. likes this brand and will pay high prices for it. This is like a brand new dress shirt. Yeah, this is pressed this has, and ready to yeah, go. Yeah, this has never been worn. Like, you can tell it was still folded up in the little, like, dress shirt oh shape. Oh my god, in those bags. This is beautiful. This, mm -hmm. like, literally Vikings purple, and I have to say that because I'm a Minnesotan, or Prince purple. That oh, too. Oh, it's Prince purple. Yeah. Dress shirt. I love this color. So I'm gonna be listing this myself. This I could maybe see as a good contender for, like, an eBay sale or something. It's a size neck of 15 and a half, or it's a size 39, which I don't know much about. I don't even know my own sizes and stuff like that. So. 39 is shoulder to wrist, neck is- Yeah, but I don't know what mine are. 
I so I don't know. Like is forty two long? Is that closer to a large? I don't know. Good question. Uh, so then this surprised me that this is actually a men's piece. So this is a puffer that's actually by UGG, Ooh. and I didn't know that they made much for like men's coats, but this is a size extra large. It's a really really nice down puffer. This is soft. And I forgot how much like UGG coats go for until I was like checking so retail and comps on these. Like some UGG coats are like. Over a thousand dollars for the down ones. Didn't you find an UGG coat? It was like an UGG suede coat at Unique. That one time. was crazy. And that sold for like 500 bucks or something when Tracy used to exist. Mm -hmm. So this is really nice. It's in fantastic condition. And the outside is actually color. a really nice like fabric material too. The Sherpa is not like matted and stuff at the neck and everything. It's really So soft. I know we're gonna kind of be reaching the end of this season, but I'm hoping that this will still do well. Either way, it's a really nice piece to have. Then we have a Zara piece. This is a newer Zara and it is size medium. And this is a really, really interesting oh, and kidding. cute Zara piece. What? I thought this was gonna be like the Zara dupe for the Isabel Morant. Oh coat, no. And I, I was gonna like, no, this is I'm like, this is like a poncho. Again, it kind of has that like washed, like slightly pilled feel, but I think it kind of came a little bit like that. Like it might've gotten a little worse since, but yeah. it's kind of meant to look like that. This one has been worn by like a trillion bloggers, of course. See, of course. But yeah. honestly, nowadays, I don't like really care. Who are the way. bloggers? None of them do Who that are good either way. What so are you blogging about that's so important that I need to steal your Zara pictures? Special, like. fast, special. This has pockets. And yeah, I'm just like gonna mark it lower. Like back in the day, I probably would've been like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna list that for like 80. Now I'm like, mm, 35. I'll throw it up for $40 and see who's gonna send me a little off. Yes. That I feel like taking. And then my best find of the day, I'm not gonna make you guys wait until the end for this, though there are a bunch of other good finds coming, so please wait till the end anyways. This is like a good one. This is a pair of, not, they don't call them overalls. They're waiters. Yeah, but they had a different, um, I'm not gonna be able to think of it. Something. Basically overalls, like overall snow pants. And these are by da -da -da. Arcteryx. Now Arcteryx is a huge bolo brand. Huge, 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 huge. Yep. Think of like Patagonia and Filson had like a child almost. It's kind yeah. of like the vibe it gives. Arcteryx retails so high, but it also like is so performance and it lives up to like its name that it keeps its value so well. These retail for like $800. There's imagine. some genuine like ski pants, ski overalls. Yeah, this is like for the people that actually go. These are for like the hard hardcore Minnesotans yeah. that like do things outside. And like these probably will resell for like 500 bucks because Arcteryx keeps its value so well. So here's like the label on the inside. This is also from the Gore-Tex line. It also has some other kind of thing implemented. This little section here is called like Kinect treks or something. So all kinds of like crazy high-end like outdoorsman mm -hmm. materials were used to create this. It's a wild. So this was a really, really good find and it's a men's extra large and I found that in the same bin as the UGG along with a couple other things that are coming up. So that was a really fun bin. To go through. Open. Yeah. Okay, next up for me, this is my mod cloth. So if you remember from the first one, Jack found that really cute little Zodiac. Zodiac, I don't know, Scorpio print. <laughs> Tell me you're a Scorpio without telling me you're a Scorpio. And I found this. This is a really adorable, new with tags, mod cloth, size 10, little green gingham pencil skirt. Right. I am obsessed with this. This is so cute. This is what I was asking for. This is what I was asking for. Really adorable spring summer. I love this like really amazing 50s looking belt. I love the belt is also attached. Like. That's a godsend. That's a godsend. Almost gives like 70s, 80s with that like avocado green color and that plastic, or almost like 60s with oh, that plastic it's so good. It's so I love cute. that. Okay, these, I was kind of bummed that they weren't gonna fit me, but that's okay. BDG Urban Outfitters. This is the new tag. These are a size 3230. And these are the Skate Fit. And I love that they have this like distress sharpie looking detail and they're like kind of busted and they're kind of grody it's like a washed out sketch it's almost like as if someone like yeah. drew with their sharpie during class and then it would always yeah. come out every time their mom like washed it or something it's and like, then there's like paint splatter and stains and all kinds of fun little embellishments all throughout and these 
do really good. The men's Urban Outfitters jeans, like a good 35, 40 bucks, like bread and butter all day, every day. And the more fun, like BDG pants or jeans do do really well. Oh, they absolutely do. Yeah. They absolutely do. Okay, so this one, I am literally staring at the other one that I found the last time I went to the bins. I found another one. Oh my gosh, it's really, the exact same thing. It is. I literally think almost the exact same fabric. The other might have been long sleeve, but it is a long sleeve. Yeah. Yes. I love this dress. She needs a trip to the wash to just like take a little refresh. But this is another homemade little picnic dress. These do so good with this like lace detail around the tear on the bottom and the square neckline. Very trendy. These are so cute. And this one is a little bit fancier because she sewed it in a way where there's this like extra little bump of fabric that like makes the tear puff out a little bit. And she stitched the seam like really well too. Yeah, hers was, this is a really, really, really well-made one. Like this is beautiful. The zipper on this one is not a talon. It is a Merlin, which is like 60s. Super adorable though. Love, love, love the vintage dresses. Okay, next, vintage skirt. This is by IZ Buyer, don't know, don't really care. Size extra small, but these, Crinkly cotton skirts that look like rags do so good. They do so. What is the new core? Good. Romantic grunge is a new one. Mob wife is a new one. Like mushroom lady or something. Like that. Mushroom girl. Mushroom girly, mushroom girl, mushroom core. It's like goblin, but it's like, I don't know, you live on the sidewalk instead of the woods. I have no idea. Like I do not know. I don't know where these come from. I just pick up the things to sell to the people. Living under the fallen tree core. That's kind of it. <laughs> Fungi core. I don't know, man. I don't know. These people are funky. So this. I was excited mm. to find this. It's this, not the brand that you'd guess. It is not Michael Simon. I immediately was like, <gasps> I was about to have a panic attack. But this is this stunning 80s, fully beaded, fully sequined, fish top. And when I tell you, I'm thinking about trying this on. I'm thinking about trying this on. That's a good art feature. Show. I, well, and like, it's so well made. So all of these are like seed beads and all of the fish are like fabric inlay and then they're sequined over and the little, I geeked out over this in the voiceover and I'm gonna keep doing it. And I love that it's not yellow. It is in no way, shape or form. Like aged. Aged. It is perfect. And it's so wonderful. The brand is the La Coste Spa California Medium. It's funny Never. because a lot of this like 80s stuff that's viewed and like stereotyped as being like so tacky, so like cheap looking, so whatever, like the amount of work oh. that goes into that, that's like those like, like the vintage Halloween and Christmas sweaters. Like those are hand knit graphic all over. And like, there's a million. The of amount of work things. that those take. Insane. Yet everyone's like, mm, trash, cheap, tacky. Because of fast fashion, and when you can yeah. buy it online for a dollar, why put any value into the human <sighs> work? This Jack helped me show. They wanted $7 for this at Goodwill. You show? Yeah, you showed this, and I filmed it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I was like, what do you mean? Did I'm not paying $7 for this. I'm very sure. You showed sorry. it like a show dog? I will pay a dollar for it, though, and this is a beautiful... It gives very like girl living the, under the fallen tree. Cold. The early two thousands Tuscan kitchen. It does is what this reminds me of. Backslash like if wallpaper. you turn that into a dress, it'd be this dress. Yeah, um, right. But it's this like crinkly satin material, which I have fully come to love. I have a couple of crinkly button downs. I love them so much. This is Michael B. Limited. No clue, but these colors do good. I love that it has the sheer sleeves, and I love. It's long. That it's a long it's dress. The maxi dress is just super good. Okay, next up for me is from that same men's bin. This isn't like a high-end brand, but this is a really good find either this way. So this is actually a Carhartt coat, and it's a 2XL. It is a vintage one. It's made in Bangladesh, so it's not made in the US, but it's still really like old. Mm -hmm. Probably like 90s. And this is one of the like snap workman's jackets. It's got like the paint all over it, the wear, the everything like that, but that's exactly Exactly. What the like girlies and guyies that <laughs> look for the old Carhartt the look for. The dude bros that don't make anything but wear Carhartt. <laughs> they want all the like distressing and wear and like even if there's tears or like anything like that. Rub wear, that's fine. So this is going to do really well. It has this nice like flannel lining to it. And the streetwear and vintage people love this. I was kind of scared that one of the vintage people was going to come up and like root through my cart or like jump on me or like 
throw something at me. <laughs> throw like an old like like I set player. was giving the vintage people a run for their money <laughs> for some of these things, man. I'll tell you what. Next up, let's see. We got some. We got some good stuff here. Okay, so puns. this this one you guys know of because it sold two weeks ago and what sold Saturday. This is an Everlane piece, size small, and this is an Everlane like alpaca and wool blend sweater. The Everlane like higher quality material stuff does. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. The cashmere sells in like an instant. Alpaca blend sweaters and stuff sell super quick. Yeah. So, yeah, this is already sold. It took like a couple days. Then we have a high end brand, but this brand is not one that I pick up very often. But this in the bins, style. I'm totally willing to. This is a Trina Turk. It's a size 12, so it's a really good size too. And this is kind of like a collared, like lace. Dress. It's like an older self-portrait dress. It is. From like back in the day. It is. This dress looks weirdly so familiar to me. Even if when I find I it. swear to God, Miss, um, oh, we're going to do it again. Pippa Julie, Disney dress, Kate Middleton. Here we go. She wears a ton of Trina Turk when she like, when she travels abroad. Google it. Yeah. So I'm going to look into this. this store. But either way, yeah, that was what I was going to say. If I can't sell it, because I think we all know Trina Turk doesn't do like the best. This is definitely like, consignment stores know Trina Turk is a high-end brand, so they'll price it really well. Then we have a piece that I kind of had eBay in mind for when I grabbed it. So this is a cool shirt. It's a men's piece. This is a size large. And it's just like a plaid shirt. This seems to be a style that they still like still sell for like a hundred bucks or something. So we'll see how that does. But I'm trying to like dabble into the lightweight cool every once in a while now that I'm like more active on eBay. Next up is not a high end brand, but this piece from this brand does really well for me. So this is H&M and it's a size women's medium. And this is a really pretty and high quality fabric jacket. It is much more purple in person. Yeah, it's kind of like- It's a, the same color as that Mainville jacket. Yeah, from but that was last video. Yeah, so this is like a purpley purple. It is, it's just a really light purple in person. And these actually do really good. The jackets, if they're nice from H&M, if they're nice and they're like newer, yeah. like I, as I said, I do have like all this listed. This is already doing quite good. I think it has four or five likes, which for H&M is great. And I think I have it priced to like 40 or something. Let's break into the other bag here. Let's change it up from some of the Y2K things. I hit one good bin of dresses. And when I tell you that I used every iota of my six foot two self to like, like the vintage people were like this, like hands back as I am like frantically so digging. Aggressively grabbing things. This is really pretty. I had in my little brain, I was like, if I'm gonna pull a Doan out of this, I think I'm gonna ascend. It is not Doan. It does look like a Doan print though. These are all wrap dresses. So they are going to be a pain in the patootie to show how to find. Here we go, Madewell. Really adorable, size four, really good maxi dress. I love this like ruffle detail on it from like the other half of the wrap. It's this really dainty little blue floral. Really pretty. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. And like, this is the Madewell that I'm still gonna get. And yeah. I'll probably still sell this myself. Won't go for a ton. It's like maxi again though. Yeah, so. I like that it has the little tassel details on the bottom. Where is the other one? Cause there was another one in here that was really good. We'll find it later. This was the cream of the crop. This was the good one. This so pretty. is a wrap dress. So pardon me if I absolutely fail trying to show this to you. We'll do this first. It is by Hutch, which is Anthropology, And this is a really stunning, ooh, orange and purple flower. What flower is this? Is that like an orchid? I don't know, something. If you know flowers, Petunia? tell me, tell me what this is. Wrap dress, this is stunningly beautiful. I love this. It has the like V detail in the front. If you want this, please go look at the listing because I will be able to show you how to properly wear this thing without sitting on the ground. But it is a full length maxi dress. It's like kind of heavy. Like she has a lot of weight to it, which I absolutely I was just gonna say, love and adore. I was just gonna say that's like one of the prettiest color combinations ever. And then Purple I thought, do you realize why I think that probably? Cause those were our wedding colors. Yes, yeah. that was like the colors. If you were going to Ryan and I's wedding, that would have been the perfect freaking dress to wear. Perfect. Okay, so anybody that was watching that didn't wear that, hmm, what's your excuse? <laughs> you, know, it's, you all could have worn this Hutch dress and you could have supported both of our colors. Anyway, this is another really adorable Madewell dress. This one was inside out and I said, 
Don't think you're gonna get away from me. Don't think I don't know. This is adorable. This is a really beautiful, definitely not as long, a little prairie dress. I love the tear on it. It is the newer Madewell, maybe. I don't have any idea, honestly, what the Madewell tags are. It's not are. an old, old one. No, it's not. This one, if I'm not mistaken, was spring, summer 2019 or 2020. Da, 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 da. Oh, 2022. Just kidding. It's really new. 2022 fall. I was gonna say, this is a very fall color. So I, it's a very, it's a transitional one. Spring, summer, fall. Really cute. And I love that it has the little like lace detail. Yeah. That kind of goes That's up. That's adorable. That's a good one. This, I got to just, to just say hi to an old friend. It's this really adorable little white and red with a black stripe detail top. And I love these big old balloon sleeves. And this is my good Judy sister, Miss Carol Anderson by invitation. Size so small. I thought this was a good summer top though. Like I thought this cute. was really cute. Really I cute. love this. And it has the buttons that go down the front. The stripes are kind of making me sick as I'm watching that on the camera. Um, I, oh, oops. I had one little accessory. This is a, I almost called this made one. Banana. <laughs> Very this banana. is a Maeve by Anthropology. Really cute little yellow beanie. And when I found it, it was like all the way undone. And I was like, who? Oh, that's right. Who in the whole wide world? Can you imagine if you're just like tromping around? I feel like it looks um, like you look like the guy from the Christmas story from you look Scrooge. Spirit, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a gag. Scrooge spring summer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Christmas anymore, but the spirits are still coming. So that was a good find. Okay, I'll do. It's the um, spirit of lemonade pass. These our mob wife, and I was so excited to find this. This is like business mob wife. This is, this is business, this is daytime mob wife. This is when you're this not taking- This is corporate mob this wife. This is when you're not taking hits out on people and you can go out in the daytime. This is a pair of Newport News, easy style, 100% leather pants. Look at these. They're so tailored. These are phenomenal. The back pockets are so well done and like pretty. You can't get over these. And I went over these with a fine tooth comb because a lot of the time what happens with leather pants in the crotch is the leather separates from the backing. So it gets that really awful crinkly crusty moment. These are beautiful. The inside is stunning. They have a lot of weight to them. They are a vintage size four. These are definitely like a 24, 25. But oh my nice. gosh, they so are nice. so pretty. Giving the Rizzio Wilfred Millennia, Millennia, whatever that pant is, a run for her money. Oh yeah. Because that's the OG. It's the real leather. This I was really excited to find. Torrid size one, Ooh. good, a little plus size pickup, but I love that it's that like, Adorable. Yeah, it's like a plaid with these really cute little multicolored stars on it. Good for the spring and the summer. This definitely is like a lighter weight top, and I like that it has this like shirred. This to me is always very spring and summer. That like shirring on the top of stuff. Yeah. So cute. You did do really good. I know, Again, we didn't, didn't really, I? We didn't really see what each other got, so I'm like, wow, okay. Okay, first up for me is a classic, something that I love but most don't, and that is a rails flannel. So it's a rail size medium. I've been a little more picky with getting rails like at normal stores nowadays, but at the big there ain't no way I'm skipping it. Mm -mm. Love the colors on this. Good for like a fall, of course. Yeah. So that Definitely. I'll totally take. It's also the newer Rails label, so that's great. Then my <gasps> new good Judy, Ever Eve. So this is an Ever Eve size extra small. This is a super cute, like paisley floral, almost kind of Hawaiian look yeah. blouse. It's kind of a tricky one with how, jeans. with how they stitched it. It's kind of like tricky to really show you what it looks like, but it has this like puffed short sleeve, super adorable. Adorable. And like I said, I just like, Ever Eve has been doing so good. Anytime I've been finding it, I can't even like keep it for two weeks. I think, call me crazy, Ever Eve, okay, don't talk about Ever Eve, what is this? <laughs> Or we can say ever is almost like the new anthro kind of. Yeah. So this is a freaking adorable corset, intimate, just so cute top. There is like cutouts all over. It is so well made. There's lace detailing everywhere. This somehow got a little twisted here. I just got to kind of unhook it and untwist this or else that's it. This is so cute. Super lacy, super tie up, all that kind of stuff. And this is actually a Victoria's Secret piece. This is like the really expensive Victoria's Secret stuff. This is probably like a hundred to hundred fifty dollars. Okay, well. This is a 34C, so. I guess I don't know what I'm doing, that's fine. So cute. This is so pretty. 
Yeah. Oh, I love this with the boning. I in love it. that. Cut this out on the looks side. like um what they do for the runway. It looks. Do they still do those? When I was looking into this, uh, like not. reverse Google searching it, a lot of like runway Victoria's Secret pictures came up. I could not find that this exact one. Me. And then right next to it, some lady got rid of all of her super super cute. I was hoping that this was gonna be a for love and lemons. Victoria's oh, I would have died. That this looks so good. like a for love and lemons piece. This did you stitching, Google search it? Of, well, it's just Victoria's Secret. It has the label in it. This has the most intricate, gorgeous, like floral detailing to it. This one, again, I have these listed. This one's actually doing even better than yeah, the other this one. one, this one. But I love this, like, so super, like, it's like a window. It's such a well-made kind of sheer mesh right yeah. here. And then the top is actually, like, layered, so you're not going to get it to, like, pull through or anything. And then it also is padded. And then the back has, like, the really pretty, like, window cutout detail. And again, this is a 34C, the very sexy plunge, it's called. And it's just Victoria's Secret, so. How do you, is this a hook and eye closure all the way down? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, so these were crazy. Crazy. I wish there was more. There was another one that wasn't like as intense that I think I gave you that'll probably be coming up. It was still really pretty, but it wasn't like so florally and like neon. So talk about spring. Oh, so I get the leftovers and you get that? Yes, I found oh. that. So talk about spring. I've actually never, I don't, I think I've once tried selling this brand, but this will be the second time ever. It is Talbot's. It's size 10. But this is like the definition of a mom in the spring. Like, oh yeah. Come on. It is a, moms. It's like a tweed, multicolor, pastel jacket. It actually has denim as the like trim to it. It's called like the denim tweed jacket. Cute. And then it's fully buttoned with like really fun etched kind of like buttons to it. I just like, it's so good for spring that some some little voice in my head was like get the Talbot. this is an easter jacket yeah with like a cute so, little white pair of hands a little like, navy and being flat, a size navy 10 is a really top. good size too a very like normal mm -hmm. like a lot of people are size 10 so i wanted to get that off onto, we onto the kooky crazy off stuff we again. go again so this is definitely a little deep pop fine i was ecstatic <laughs> to see that it was not sheen it has really dull drab color. I don't believe in shade. It's really boring. There's not really any like color it's going really on. It's really cute though. It's this little hand knit. And I found this next to another one and there was a couple of other like knit. There was like knit projects in the bin that she hadn't finished. And this one was done. So I think she made this. Really adorable little. It's very like rave. It is very rave. But I love this like square neck. And these colors are just so cute. That one, like. I picture someone having fingerless gloves with those. <laughs> oh, immediately. And like a little and, like, like, a and, like a pink plaid newsboy hat. Yeah. Yeah. So this was right next to it. Shocker. This one is Urban Outfitters. It's like small. That one I'd probably say it's like a medium, medium large. So cute. I love this top. And again, when I tell you that the minute I find something good in the bin, everything goes into overdrive and I am using every minute of my little six foot two frame and the girlies with those teeny little arms did have a prayer because this was like stuffed in the back of the bin and I just, but it's this adorable, perfect for Easter, little cropped cardigan sweater. And my favorite are these buttons. Mm -hmm. These Lizzie McGuire. That's exactly what I was gonna Limited say. to. Exactly what I was She's on say. that little scooter, tromping around Rome. I can hear the song, but I'm not gonna sing it I don't, her, shoes, I don't want her to get me. Big white shoes, flared like cargo pants. These were a good find. This is a really cute pair of Free People Movement. Little cross front biker shorts. These are medium large. In the color honey mustard. It, I was gonna say <laughs> um, goldenrod, but sure. Yeah. I, it does give honey mustard. These are adorable. The girly, she got the top and I got the pants, which the top looks crusty. These didn't look like she hardly ever wore them that much, so. <laughs> and these crossover like leggings and stuff have been so in. They're so trendy. They are so trendy. Okay, this is a good little skirt. Hot Topic, size medium. Love, love, you love the little purple schoolgirl skirt. These always do good. These bread and butter. Always do good. God, bread and butter. Emo, bread and butter. Emo, bread and butter. <laughs> Absolutely. What is this? I, um, I gave you this. You gave this mango, to me. isn't it? French. Yeah. This brand can be an anthro every now and again, but it's like kind of selective. But it's decently this pricey. This is, and it's an Ever Eve brand too. Oh. It can be I don't an think Ever this Eve. was an Ever Eve. Probably not. They look like fish. They give fish. 
Or like waves? Or Maybe. Something? I don't know. But this is a knit. It's a stretch knit maxi dress. I did really well with the maxi dresses. And I think people are afraid to take pictures of them. I love taking pictures of maxi yeah, dresses. It takes me an hour and a half, but they look really well. Yeah. And I love these mother of pearl buttons. These are so pretty. Perfectly, yeah. No. And there is the label. French Paris. And it's such a nice knit. It's if this was heavy, just like a vest, I would wear this. It's that heavy. It's really warm. Really stretchy, just really nice. Their tag looks a lot like Anthro. I know. threw me off for a second because I was like, um, can I take this back? Paris, France? Is this brand really made in Paris? Wow. No, I, I thought, I thought it was Paris. just called that. Me too. Huh. It's cute though. And I love a lime green color. So cute. Okay. This is the one that Jack handed to me. I was not mad about this because this corset is stunning. Let me literally just like put the one up so we can see what she looks like. Same size, I presume. 34C. 34B. Mm. This one is a really adorable little gray moment with the rhinestones and the lace. The front having, yeah, the like, oh. the crossover is really pretty. Yeah, it has this like lattice detail that goes all the yeah. way up. It's so pretty. I love the bust of this one where it has like a half cup. It's like a little like, ba boom. Yeah. Love it. And the embellishments Absolutely are stunning. Really I know, these are beautifully made. They always, always, always do good because they're so expensive. Yeah. Okay, let me wrap up my stuff, but Ryan's got quite a few other things for you that we'll have to power through. Oh my lord. Okay, so first up is, once again, She Back, She Back. It is Ever Eve again. This is an yeah. XL. I love this like evergreen color. I love the ruffle details and I love a slubbed cotton. Mm -hmm. So this Extra is large so size. I have a feeling that that one will do really, really well. This is freaking adorable. And this is this. a free people. It's a size extra small. We've got a little bit of dirtiness at the neck, but that'll probably really easily clean off. It almost just looks like a dust. But this is called the Sunrise Polo Sweater. Okay, if this was a medium, oh, this would be mine. Super oversized. So even though when I say it's an extra small, this totally could fit like even a medium or something. So freaking cute. It's almost kind of high low at the bottom, but that it has like a texture all throughout. It's got this ruffle detail. It looks detail. like one of those vintage Chanel blankets. Yeah. I, oh, it's such that's a like one. a good free people. This is really funky and I got it's it so because of the color. This, this is Ann Taylor. It's 100% wool, but it is old, old, old Ann Taylor. It is a lime green, 100% wool blazer. It is such a vibrant, like unique green color. If you wore this anywhere, I feel like everyone will say something about it. Like it's so cute. this color is just so eye catching. The wrists almost have like a scallop detail to the like cuff. It's just so interesting. Like you're like a walking flower almost. Of you some are kind. like a little walking. And it's really like, tree long. Like for being old, it's a really oversized fit. I will say this is I think my favorite part. The scallop. This like scallop. Yeah. It looks like an old Moschino blazer. It does. It I does. was just gonna this say just if this had so some like funky motif on it, that's exactly what that would give so, me. So like interesting, I could not skip it. So yeah, it's a size eight, and I'd say it's true to eight. It's actually like oversized, and it's pretty long too. Mm -hmm. Like I love that thing. So cute. And last up is another really high end find. This, this is a was great in one. the same bin as the anthro dress and those two made wells. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So this is a 100% silk ruffle long micro floral like cottage core dress. Ruffle kind of sleeve or shoulder straps to it. And this is actually Veronica Beard. I've only found her like once or twice thrifting. So this is one of the first times. So cute. Size six, her blazers do better than anything. Like, mm -hmm. so dresses and blouses, I wouldn't pay up much for, but of course in the bins, like I'm oh, absolutely gonna pick this up. And if you get lucky, like you still can sell her dresses for like almost 200 bucks. Yeah, you just they gotta still find the go right for person. like at least a hundred, I would yeah. say. They're really, especially if they're like a silk. Yeah. Okay, so let's do some rapid fire here. <laughs> let's, let's kind of, let's get through some of these. So this I am obsessed with. One of my favorite things in the whole wide world to find is good vintage plus size. And this checks that box. It's orange. It's a tube top. What's not to love? Just this so. is amazing. And it's actual good plus size. It is time for a half. Size 16. No clue. But like these do so good. These like really stretchy form fitting orange tops. It gives like if Velma were to like loosen up a little bit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> if Velma like wasn't if such Velma a really wasn't such a stick in the mud all the time. <laughs> Anyway. It gives Velma's fun sister. <laughs> Velma. This is really cute. Urban Outfitters out from under size small. Really cute little like mm -hmm. 
dainty little floral Classic. waffle knit, bread and butter all day, every day. This is a really beautiful piece. It's a silk kimono. I love, love picking these up. The brand is E. 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 For if it's C's, I have no idea. 100% silk, dry clean only, made in China. Love, love, love the colors in this one. These flowers are so vibrant. Yeah. And these little butterflies, so cute. It gives very, um, a girl named Trudy. I don't know why. This was really cute. This was BDG, size medium. And this is, again, another good little spring summer moment. A biker. It is. It's like a little one of these. A biker lady. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of biker. Or, like, if you're an artist. I feel like it gives very ceramicist. 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 Yeah. Super cute. Mob wife. Again, this is, I showed this in the Thrift With Us. This is by Silver Jeans, size extra large. I don't think this is lamb leather. I think it's just regular cowhide leather. I will check. You can, find, leather. That, you can find that out when it gets listed. Beautiful, beautiful black leather jacket with the little details on the bottom. See the I, S on the pocket? Oh, that's my favorite part. The silver logo. The little on the S on the pocket. This leather is like buttery soft. I don't, I don't think, think it's lamb. Ever... I think it's cow, but. I think it is too. It's so nice. And you can tell that she never wore it because the inside to this is also just like brand new. And the black Very is so excited. vibrant and like dark stone. Very excited to find that. Okay, two more out of this bag and then we have one little one to get through. Really adorable little vintage Morona Target Y2K top. I love these kind of like desert pastel kind of a colors. These always be super good and especially if they're that like really stretchy ribbed material. This was a really good find. This is a little Bowden piece. Again, cute. transitional. This is what I was talking about. Super cute, short sleeve, but it's a knit. So it's gonna keep you a little bit warm, but I like the pop of color in the back. Adorable. This is a pair of aloe pants. These are a size medium. Good little jogger. They're kind of like a light sage green, almost gray, but they have that like moto detail on the knee and the little jogger ankle. You did do good. Super cute. This is the one that I wanna keep. This is the Hilo Hattie that might stay with me. I love. Oh, it's a long sleeve. Just kidding. Absolutely not. <laughs> I would never. So, I don't know where the other one is as I stare at my pile, but this one, she's old. She's old. Size small. I don't know if this is a men's or women's. If they, if the buttons are on the- Men's. Okay, perfect. I know some of these can do really well and I've never seen a long sleeve one before. So we'll find out, but look at how vibrant this blue Very is. 80s. I love it. And I love that it has the little like, the little pocket in front. Love that. Okay. We are coming down to the wire. Last one of the dresses, just kidding. Almost last one of the dresses. I haven't Googled this brand. It is called Another Girl, size four. But I thought this was very Moschino. It gives very, the, the TV. like, yeah, the TV cutout thing. I love this long sleeve with the cute little contrasting cuffs. The like TV full, busy signal. Yeah, fully cute. knit maxi dress. I like how it like, I know, this goes is off. so pretty. Yeah. This actually, like, if I Googled this one and it was expensive, that wouldn't surprise me because it feels really nice. This dress was in with all of those other ones, the Anthro and the Two Madewell, in this one. This one is a sanctuary size Ooh. small. This is the kind of sanctuary that I'm still going to pick up for myself, though. It's this really beautiful medallion lace dress, and it's white, and it's really beautiful. Totally would I, be Anthro or Ever Eve, too. Oh, yeah. And I love that it's that, like, really nice... Slubbed cotton again. Good little pair of Levi's just to round everything out. This is a button fly pair of 501s. Good little pair of jeans. Good for the spring and the summer. Those are a 27. Look at me go. This was the last thing I found. This is a vintage piece. Oh, there's a stain on it. That's okay. I'll try to get it out. But this is a linen blazer. Oh. I love this. I think this is so chic. I am seeing these all over the place. Oh, and it's L.L. Bean. That's why. It's heavy and like It is really quality. heavy. Could I wear this? Is this a me moment? So goodbye to the Hilo Hattie, hi to the LLB. I love this. I don't know. I think this is really chic. It's really cute. And it's not perfect. Like, it's, it doesn't need to be worn, like, really dressy or professional. You can just no. kind of, like, knock just it around. throw it around with a t-shirt. Yeah. Okay, I think, I think, I think, oh, just kidding. One more. <sighs> One more. The final, what What's the, the big final. 
it's a tote bag that has a couple of possums burning the house down. And it says, we'll build a healthier one. Ta-da! This is really cute. The though. finale. Cute little screen printed tote bag. These always do good. Are they possums? I think yeah. they're mice. Mice, possums. This one, um, no brand. Just like a cute little fun. I don't really get it, but. Cute little fun tote bag. Okay. Oh. Well. My good lord. Now that we've kept you guys here for a trillion and a half years. It has been a long, long, long time. As per usual, let us know what your favorite couple things were that we each found, whether it be from part one, part two, or both parts. Definitely let so us know. Stuff to photograph. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to go start working on this stuff. So we will see you guys on Saturday for regular What's on Saturday, or we'll see you on Tuesday for something fun and something else. Toodles. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.